Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at TariffyHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is your monthly reading. It's for August and it is for the Virgos. I am going to be using the Deviant Moon Tarot for this reading. And we're going to see what is showing up for you. Starting off with your finances, then relationships, and then your spiritual cards. So, let's see what shows up for the Virgos. Your first card is the Ten of Swords. With the Ace of Wands with the ten of cups now i feel like the first message that came to me is that you have to do what you need to do to make yourself happy in certain situations don't let worries and fears stop you or block you from certain opportunities or receiving certain things that are right for you and are made for you i feel like an old situation really isn't suiting you um <clears throat> Just like this person has all these swords sticking out from everywhere, they feel kind of stuck and trapped in a situation that isn't right for them. This card can also represent feeling um, stabbed in the back in some kind of way. So I don't know if some of you guys may have been uh, released from a job um, and maybe that's where the backstabbing came in. Like maybe you felt like you shouldn't have been... You shouldn't have been sacked or something like that or you felt like you did do a good job and it wasn't really acknowledged um but there is this sense of kind of feeling disappointed with the way a certain situation went because you kind of feel like uh you were treated unfairly or in a way that wasn't you know justified in your opinion and the ace of wands is saying that something different is coming in though and it's positive and it's good for you so yes you can let this old situation lie because something new is becoming better as a result and where you're going to be is a much better place than where you were <clears throat> So there will be opportunities for you to really celebrate this new place, this new opportunity and things feeling better for you generally. So I get the impression that work situations can definitely be very good for you. The Ten of Cups is also about what fulfills you, what makes you feel good. So this could be an opportunity coming to you to do something that either you've always wanted to do or something that resonates with you better than, what, than where you were before, what you were doing before. So... In that sense, it's good. I also feel that the environment for you is much better. Where I feel that you came from a place where maybe the environment was that of everyone being out for themselves. And there might be some kind of underhanded behaviors and things that were going on for maybe colleagues or people that you worked alongside. I feel like this other opportunity is going to be around people that are going to be much better for you. It's like a different kind of environment. It's not a harsh environment like the one you came from. It's more of a support environment so that's really good I also see for some of you guys you may be taking on a job working with children or working with families as well and I think that that will be really good or maybe even like a midwife or something like that um, some of you guys might be doing that kind of thing and if if it is I feel like that kind of rework would be that kind of work would be really rewarding for you some kind of care associated work um, so let's see what shows up for those of you that are in, um, that are single actually, I was going to say in relationships. Let's start with the singles first. So you first have, oh, I'm tired of this card showing up. I feel like this card is a stalker. Oh my gosh. Like, I will shuffle up the deck, and what I do is I pick cards from random sections in the deck to make sure something else comes through. But this card is like constantly showing up, and I am shuffling this deck really well. Like, I don't get it. So, I don't know. It's back again. It's. <laughs> I hate when you can't get cards that do that. And every month. There's usually one that likes to do that, like wants to show up all the time. <sighs> the next card is the Ace of Swords. <laughs> I don't mind seeing that one. And the King of Pentacles. It showed up previously, but it's not that bad. So, um, okay, for those of you that are not in relationships, I feel like you could be getting over somebody. Some kind of connection you had with a person is going to be cut, like with these swords in the middle. It's like cutting all ties, cutting all connections, 
moving on to somebody that is better if you were with somebody that was very stingy or selfish or all about themselves or you know somebody that's like that i feel like you're going to be cutting ties with this individual and this other person i feel this other person is going to be more generous towards you more kind more wanting to support you and um support the things that you want in your life so i kind of get that for some of you a relationship could be around you but this also could be taking place with other people that are in your life as well but what i'm seeing here is that again a tie is going to be cut between somebody that is really um they they're just out for themselves basically and you might that might become apparent to you like maybe you didn't see that before but now you realize that yeah they are quite selfish and they aren't really helpful and maybe when you've asked them for help they haven't really been there but maybe they're the type of person that they expect you to be there when they need help though and so you might be like you know i'm just through dealing with that individual and the king of pentacles is saying somebody else is going to be that help to you or that support to you so there, there isn't going to be much love loss uh, between um, somebody else that is leaving your life or maybe you have somebody that is in your life and you have a discussion with this person and you let them know that you know I'm not happy with the way you haven't you know I, I've needed help and you haven't been there for me or the how selfish you are or how greedy you are <laughs> and then you know maybe they start to kind of look at themselves it, you know from your perspective and they start to say oh you know what I should be more generous or I should maybe make a change in some kind of way um when it comes to those things uh so it could be that also okay so let's see what shows up for those of you that are in relationships oops you have the four of cups with the star with the king of cups so some of you may be dealing with a person that is a water sign so that can be a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio person and um, I feel like in the beginning this well this could cover a number of ways <clears throat> it could be saying in the beginning you weren't too satisfied with the way a relationship was going either you may have felt that communications with that person wasn't that good maybe they were kind of uh they didn't have much time for you and um or maybe there will be times where you tried to reach out for them reach out to them and they couldn't get in touch with you and stuff like that I don't feel like it was a bad thing like I don't feel like they were just not co communicating with you because they didn't want to speak to you I think that maybe they were occupied with other things and so um, or maybe they were even traveling somewhere else or something like that and that's the reason why communications was kind of affected but the star card is saying that things will get better and what you hope for the situation will become reality so what you're hoping for will actually happen and this person is going to be able to connect back with you and they are going to be able to really have the relationship with you that you are hoping for or if like you want maybe this was your, the nature of your relationship before like maybe things were really good before you spent a lot of quality time together you were always around each other all that kind of stuff and maybe certain circumstances happen and then you just became either upset with the way something was going or something may have became boring or something may have just um again maybe not fulfilled the expectations but then the star card is saying that that those uh failed expectations or stuff like that things will be getting better and there is opportunity for emotional healing to come about it is saying that it is important to nurture a relationship and so you know and and that nurturing has to come from both parties and i think that august might be the time where you have to kind of work on nurturing a relationship with your partner so that you know you're not maybe living separate lives almost or a separate kind of existence um outside of the relationship because i kind of get that there could be a feeling of that as well and so something really has to bring you guys back together and it could be saying that maybe you have to look for more creative ways of bringing this relationship together or doing things together as a as you know in a partnership and not just you know doing things by yourself so um Let's see what shows up for your spiritual cards, Virgo. Your spiritual cards, you have the four of wands with the three of 
swords with the strength card that's another thing i feel like there are issues with your relationships and um that's just the first interpretation i feel like you there is an issue when it comes to your family life and your home life and there are going to be some feelings of upset sadness but then the strength card is saying that you have the strength to keep this relationship going you have the strength to get over the fears and the hurts and to be able to just push forward and again this is about finding compassion in your partner and your partner being compassionate towards you and really understanding that both of you are human beings and neither one of you is perfect and to kind of understand that you know uh, sometimes you have to work with a person <laughs> for a relationship to really come about relationships are not easy they're not at tall there's so many challenges when you're in a relationship and there's so many you know differences of opinions and you're just two different people together so there's always going to be things that you guys have to work through you know and so i feel like that's kind of what august is saying you have to work through it with somebody in the month of august if you want to keep things strong you know but then um what i see in terms of just a general spiritual message is that um your home life and your family life um may have to go through kind of new processes new things uh connections may have to be re-established in some kind of way and um at the heart of it all though is there is um this is a time where you have to rise to certain challenges so i feel like the universe is pushing you in a new kind of way or a different kind of way it's almost like to prove how strong you are to prove how capable you are of overcoming these challenges that you're seeing in your life it is hard when you're having to deal with difficult circumstances that are very close to home and that's what i see in your spiritual cards regardless of whether you're single or not i feel like you're having to do with challenges that are close to home and because of that um it's saying that you have to show and prove how you can overcome these challenges and overcome these issues even if you are hurt even if you are upset even if you are disappointed how are you going to deal with these things in order to to come out with on top of things how are you going to do with that virgo so yeah peace and many blessings to you i wish you all the best i'll be seeing you bye